This is the story of DMT, or dimethyltryptamine. It was a simple compound found throughout nature which had a profound effects on human consciousness. Psychedelic drug known to man. It's in every single ecosystem all over the world. It exists in plants and grasses. And it's everywhere. I mean, it's a really, really crazy this drug to be illegal. That's EMT. EMT is a hundred thousand times crazier than that. It's like mushrooms times a million plus aliens. Literally, I mean, it sounds it's it's crazier than you could possibly imagine or describe. If you take the EMT, you will communicate. What I'm talking about is like trying to explain a kaleidoscope to a blind man.
now. It's just it's sanctioned. It's a sanctioned drug because it's it's great for capitalism. It keeps you going. It keeps you working. But there's uh, you know there's there's drugs out there that are actually good for you. There's drugs that's out there that are actually good for your mind. I do drugs because I, I find the state that psychedelic drugs I put you in very fascinating and very introspective, and you can learn a lot about yourself. You can learn about a lot about life because it removes you and your ego from the equation, and you get to look at things from like a, a newborn's perspective. That's why I do it. I don't do anything like I don't do coke or meth or anything dangerous, anything that's addictive. I have never done coke. I've never done speed. I've never done heroin. I, I won't do anything that can hurt you, but, but psychedelic drugs, those are, they're, they're very different. Look at this, this big blanket that we put on everything, we can call everything drugs. That's a, a broad term that encompasses everything from like NyQuil to the DMT, you know, I mean, they're all drugs. I mean, they're all, they all affect your consciousness. It's like, how do they affect your consciousness, though? I'm not interested in anything that messes me up. I'm not interested in anything that gives me brain damage or anything that makes me, you know, addicted to it. I just, I'm only interested in things that, that can alter my state of consciousness for the, the better. It's very, very intense. There's, but it's not a dangerous gap. Yeah, it's a human neurotransmitter. It's actually one of the most transient drugs that's ever exhibited in the body because your body brings it down the baseline really, really quickly. Your body brings it down the baseline in like 10 to 15 minutes. It's really crazy. What does that mean down the baseline? It means, like I say, if you have it, you're high, you go to that dimension, blows that out, and then... Whoosh, 15 minutes later, you're back normal. And the crazy thing is, it's just like dreaming. You know, now you wake up, and you're like, I had the craziest dream. It was me and my buddy Mike, and we were we were kids, but we had a sled, and my mom was there. And then five minutes later, you're like, what the hell is all my dream? <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what a DMT trip was like. It's like gold dust slipping through your fingers.